I've lived my life by the motto that I'll sleep when I die. It turns out that lack of sleep might get me there faster than I thought. Hi everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to Tread Talks, where I walk on this treadmill to stay in shape while making videos for you fine people. I'm not someone who's prone to hyperbole, so I mean it when I say that getting enough sleep is the most important part of any weight loss or fitness or nutritional effort that you're undertaking. Without it, you're essentially dooming yourself to failure. But maybe you're stubborn like I was, and you won't take it seriously until you see some of the actual impacts. So here are the top five impacts of losing sleep. Number one, it makes us dumber and we don't even know it. Lack of sleep makes us less alert, less able to concentrate, less able to pay attention, less able to reason and to problem solve. And it does this all while we think that we're doing just fine. In a study from the University of Pennsylvania Medical School, they found that subjects that got four to six hours of sleep for two weeks straight did just as poorly on cognitive tests as subjects who didn't sleep for two days straight. The difference was that the people who slept four to six hours indicated that they didn't feel like they were lacking sleep. The truth is that there's a cumulative neurobiological cost that you're paying when you lose sleep, whether you know it or not. Number two, you die sooner at the end of an unhealthier life. In a longitudinal study of 10,000 civil servants done in 2007, they found that those who had reduced their sleeping time from seven hours to five or fewer hours a night ended up being twice as likely to die from all causes, especially cardiovascular disease. And what's worse, as you get older, you're at a much higher risk of developing a major disease or medical condition, and in part that's because sleep is when the body literally repairs and regenerates itself on a cellular level. Level. And you're basically saying, nope, repair is for suckers, I'm not going to do that. Number three, we hurt our country's economy. In a study by Rand Europe, they found that the United States loses about $411 billion every year due to workers that are getting fewer than six hours of sleep a night. That's enough to eliminate poverty and homelessness in the entire country. But it isn't all on individual workers. I think companies and businesses need to do a better job of establishing cultures that actually value work and life balance. It's in everyone's best interest. Number four, it ages your skin. This one is especially important to me because I'm trying to lose a lot of weight. And my hope is that at the end of it, I don't end up with a lot of loose, wrinkly belly fat. I hope my skin is elastic enough to pull back together. Unfortunately, when you don't get enough sleep, though, your body releases more of the stress hormone cortisol. Cortisol, in large amounts, breaks down skin collagen. Skin collagen is the protein that keeps your skin smooth and elastic, so I'm basically shooting myself in the foot. And on top of that, when we're not getting enough sleep, our bodies are releasing too little human growth hormone. Hormone. When we're young, this hormone promotes growth, and as we get older, it helps promote muscle mass, thicken our skin, and strengthen our bones. The problem is that this hormone is primarily released in our bodies, you guessed it, when we're in deep sleep. And you're not getting enough of that when you're only sleeping four to six hours a night. And number five, we're just flat out more likely to gain weight. Recent research has been looking at the connection between sleep and these things called peptides that regulate our appetite. There's a peptide called ghrelin, which stimulates hunger, and a peptide called leptin, which tells our brain that we're satisfied, that we actually don't need to eat more. And surprise, surprise, not getting enough sleep increases your body's production of ghrelin and decreases its production of leptin. So you're biologically sabotaging yourself to fail. So there you have it. No matter what diet or exercise regimen you're pursuing, getting enough sleep, which for most people is seven to eight hours a night, is critical. I'm finally starting to accept this myself, and it only took me 30 years. So for those of you out there who are getting enough sleep, I want to know, how do you overcome the temptation to just stay up a little bit longer? Whatever your strategy is, put it in the comments and I'll take a look. In the meantime, if you like this video and you want to keep up with my content, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and it would be great if you were a part of that group. And you can hit the little bell icon to be notified when a new video goes up. Either way, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.